Hazreti Esmaci ve Tahiret Evladı Resul-i Esmaci'nin Efendilerimizin Sayın Enbiya-i Zember Usulü Fihan Hazretlerine Enva Şeriflerine Pirimiz Bilal-ı Abişe Radiyallahu'nun Efendimizin ve Alel Husus Bu Cami'nin Banisi ve bugüne kadar içerisinden gelmiş geçmiş İmam Ezzin Kayınlarının ve kahve ehli imanın ervahı sahibi Hüseyin Şahdur Kerimet Uluslar Rabbani Hazretleri için Allah rızası için el Fatiha Yavuz billahi mine şeytanı alacağım Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Minnallah ve melaikete ve yüsellun ala nebi Ya eyyüllezine amun sallu aleyhi ve sellim o teslima Allahümme salli ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala ali seyyidina Muhammed Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Hayy aleyhissalam Hayy aleyhissalam Hayy aleyhissalam Hayy al-Falam Allahu Ekber Allahu Ekber La ilahe illallah Elhamdülillah Elhamdülillah Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain نحمد الله تعالى ونستغفر ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده وحبيبه ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وزواجه وسبب تابع خلفاء رشد المحدي من بعده وزر المتي على تحقيق حسن من تعلم متي خلفاء رسول الله تحقيق أمر المؤمنين حضرة أبو بكر وعمر وسمان وعلي وعلى بكر صعب تابعين ودوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين يا أيها المؤمنون الحاضرون يتقوا الله تعالى وأتوا إن الله هم الذين تقوا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء من مرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله والصحابة أجمعين All praises are due to Allah Lord of the universes All praises are due to Allah the first the last the manifest the one who has might and power over all things all praises are due to Allah who sent Sayyidina Muhammad as the mercy to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the master of the prophets, the guide of the saints, the messenger to mankind and the jinns, the sultan of the universes, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, Sayyidina Muhammad and upon his noble family, and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafai Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Osman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya yuhal mu'minun, O believers, welcome to you and to me on this holy day of Juma, on the first Juma of the holy month of Rabiul Awal. Yes, Rabiul Awal is a holy month. It is one of the holiest months. Because on the 12th of Rabiul Awal, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was born. Alhamdulillah, we are in the association of the friends of Allah who have dedicated themselves to living and dying for the love of Rasulullah We are not from those who take every opportunity to abandon and condemn any practice that spreads the love of the Holy Prophet ﷺ in the hearts of the Ummah. Our Shaykh, Sahib al-Sayf, Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kabrisiyah Rabbani, has taught us to celebrate and respect the Mawlid al-Nabi, and we're keeping that tradition. Even if the whole world 
were to abandon the Mevlid, we will honor it, inshallah. Because we are walking in the way of the awliyaullah, who are walking in the way of the Sahabi kiram, whose wirit was fidaka ummi wa abi ya Rasulullah. May my mother and father be sacrificed to you, ya Rasulullah. May we reach the blessings in this holy month. May we reach the blessings of the holy Mawlid. May we make more sincere salawats in this month. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa la alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Amin. Ya ayuhal mu'minun, O believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Tawbah, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim say, Ya Muhammad, if your fathers, your sons, your brothers, your wives, your relatives, wealth which you have obtained, your business wherein you fear decline, and houses with which you are pleased are more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger and struggling in His cause, then wait until Allah executes His command. And Allah does not guide the defiantly disobedient people. Sadaqallah al-Azim. In Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the Prophet is preferable for the believers even to their own selves. Sadaq Allah Azim and the scholars are saying that this ayat, it is giving the definition of a believer. That he puts the Holy Prophet as his priority. That the believer he puts ahead of himself ahead of his family, ahead of his dunya, ahead of everything. His priority is Rasulullah That is what it means to be a believer. And the lion amongst men, Hazrat Ali al-Murtaza, karamallahu wajah, is explaining that spirit of the Sahabi kiram, saying, the Holy Prophet is dearer to us than our wealth our children, our fathers, our forefathers, our mothers, and cool water at the time of severe thirst. O oh, believers, because of their putting the Holy Prophet ﷺ before everything else, the Sahaba Kiram, they were granted success in this life and in the next life. Because of that spirit, Islam was able to spread from the deserts of Arabia to the steppes of Central Asia, to the islands of Indonesia. Because of their obedience and muhabbat to that Holy Prophet ﷺ, Islam has reached to us today. As our Shaykh Sahib al Sayyid, Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kibrisiya Rabbani Qadatullah Sir is saying, Muslims were not like this today. Muslims left everything. The Muslims, the real ones, in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, they left everything. They left their belongings. They left their homes. They left everything in Mecca and they emigrated to Medina. They didn't take anything with them. The only thing they were looking at was the Holy Prophet ﷺ and they were running after his words. Whatever he was saying, they were running. They were taking and putting his words on top of their heads and living according to those words. And in a very short time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them. When he tested them and he looked at their faith that, yes, they are strong in what they are believing. He gave them the dunya too. They left everything in Mecca. They came back to Medina and in a very short time, a handful of people who were slaves, they turned and they started ruling the world. When the Holy Prophet ﷺ was giving his message in 23 years time, his message reached everywhere, east, west, North and South, when Islam reached 50 years of age, Islam was ruling all the way from China to North Africa. How these people did it. And up until the last century, that's how it was. 
Only one way. They kept Allah and His Prophet والسلام, priority. They kept dunya second class. Because of that, Allah gave them the authority of the dunya too. In the last 100 years, the Muslims have fallen into heedlessness, big heedlessness. Not half of the day, and not only in the night time. Believers should not be in heedlessness even when they were sleeping. Believers should be in an awakening station. Believers should not be heedless when he is sleeping. Today's people are 24 hours heedless. We are falling into that because we are not living the way we are believing. We are following some other guides. And our guides have become computers, televisions, internet, and all the other things that are in our lives today. If we continue like this, then we have nothing to leave to our children and to our grandchildren. Nothing. They left us Islam. We have nothing to leave to them. Islam is going to rise. But we are going to be questioned because we didn't leave anything to them. Because we are not keeping the correct lifestyle of Islam. How are you going to leave anything else to somebody coming behind? Everything is showing today anyway. The lifestyle that the Muslims are living and how their children are living. It's showing. I don't need to tell you anything. Check in your own houses. Look and understand. Does this fit to the Holy Prophet Alayhi time? Does this fit to the time of the Sahabi Kiram? My actions and everything I'm doing, does it fit that I can present it to the Holy Prophet Alayhi Wasallam? It doesn't. If you are finding that it does, then let me know. It doesn't. Oh believers, that is the reality of the condition of this Ummah. Being given to us from one of the greatest awliya that it ever was, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent in the Ahir Zaman, Sahib al Saif. If we continue to live this way, if Muslims continue to live this way, then the next generation, it will not have Islam. It will have the name of Islam, but it will not have the spirit of Islam. Why? Because the Muslims of the 21st century gave priority to everything except for the Holy Prophet. And they were poisoned with this thinking by those who hate Islam. The enemies of Islam came and conquered the Muslim countries and colonized them because of our betrayal to our Khalifa. And they killed the sultans and the kings and they turned the royal families and the families of the Ahlil Bayt into beggars and paupers as the British did in India. Turning the Mughal family into beggars in the streets. So the common people looked and they said, look at these non-Muslims, they are successful, they are powerful, we have to be like them, we have to copy them, that way we will also be rich and powerful. And the enemies of Islam said, the first thing you have to do, you have to stop this extreme love of your Prophet. That is why they supported Wahhabism, to stop this love of the Prophet. Because this is keeping you back, they say. You have to learn first our language. That way you forget your language and you will forget where you are from. You have to go to our schools. That way we can control your minds for generations to come. You have to dress like we dress so that you feel ashamed by what your grandfathers and great-grandfathers they wore carrying the haybat of Islam. You have to keep your religion private like you do, like we do, so that your religion is not going to be powerful. It is something that you hide as if it is something that you are ashamed of. We are going to train you just like we train the animals. And we are going to make you forget that you are Muslims. We are going to make you forget 
that you are humans. And that is what happened. And even though colonialism finished in the worldly sense, uh, Muslims still have that colonized minds. So they come to America and they say, we must become American. American Muslims. It is very important we must put the word American before we put the word Muslims. We must cut out of our Islam anything that our countrymen, they don't like. We must change our shape so that they accept us. But the reality is, those who don't like Islam will never accept us until we completely abandon Islam and adopt their way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying this in Surah Al-Baqarah. They will never be pleased with you until you follow their religion, you follow their way. And because the Muslims are running after the way of those who hate Islam, they are abandoning their own religion. And that is why, as our Shaykh is saying, if things continue this way, there will be no Islam in the next generation. We cannot abandon our religion. We cannot throw away the inheritance of 1400 years that came from our Holy Prophet was passed through the Sahabis, through the pious generation that came after them all the way down to us. This Islam it is a trust. It is given to us for us to pass it down to the next generation. What are we doing with this amanat that is in our hands now? Are we preserving that trust? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Holy Quran, in Surah Al Ali Imran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let there arise out of you a band of people inviting to all that is good and joining what is right and forbidding what is wrong they are the ones to attain felicity that invitation it is still open and our Shaykh he is carrying the flag of that band of people. He is using the Turkish words, Chete. We can still be a part of that group. Or have we broken off from that group? Or is our bodies here once a week, just like Ibn Salama? But our hearts are running after this dunya with the promise of helping Muslims and Islam. But if you are not going to help them, if your heart is not there when you have nothing, definitely you're not going to be there when you have everything. We are part of that group. We should not cut ourselves off from that group. And the requirements to be from that band of people, that group of believers, is to put the Holy Prophet as the priority in our lives. But don't suppose to think that we are going to know the Prophet ﷺ by ourselves just because we can Google and read. We will not know the Prophet until the inheritor of the Prophet is teaching us that Prophet that inherit that knowledge from. It's not just him, but the ones that he loves and the ones that he has left us with. You cannot have profit as priority in your life if you are going to abandon the ones that he has left us with. His inheritors, his friends, the awliyaullah, we are hoping to gain that felicity. Just as he is saying, by holding on to that. And what is this felicity? It is to be the ones that the Holy Prophet ﷺ is talking about in this hadith narrated from Hazrat Abu Hurairah, recorded in Sahih al-Muslim. He is saying, والسلام, the people most loved by me from amongst my ummah would be those who would come after me. But everyone amongst them would have the most passionate desire 
to catch a glimpse of me even at the cost of his family and wealth. We're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us strong for us to live like so, so that we're included in that group of people to make Habibullah والسلام, the priority in our life, to make our Shaykh the priority in our life. At that time, they will love you and they will keep you with themselves in Ahirat. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. استغفر الله لازم لازم لا إله إلا الله والحي القيوم وأتوب إليه تعالى لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك لا الحمد لله شيء كدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك لا الحمد لله شيء كدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك لا الحمد لله شيء كدير لا إله إلا أنت سبحان إن كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحان إن كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحان إن كنت من الظالمين صبح كدوس ربنا رب الملائكة توارو Subuh dan kudus nabi nabi malaikat itu waru. Subuh dan kudus nabi nabi malaikat itu waru. Inna dina inna Allah. Islam. Iqam salah. Bismillah.